there's no large spells of possession where teams are constantly controlling the ball. It's really it's really end to end. It's exciting football and it, it brings people out. Woods with a free kick. Oh, and Douglas there. It, it was just too high for Dixon and I think maybe it caught Douglas unsighted and it sort of just hit him in the midriff. And it was actually maybe a chance for him sneaking around the back post there unmarked. He's got to try and do better there. Yes, Oxford clipped the ball forward and he's broke the offside trap here. Douglas is scrambling to get back and that's a good finish and it's in. Tom Scott for Oxford City. Gums tidies things up. Dixon didn't perhaps wasn't quite aware of Drew putting him under pressure. McDonald wasn't aware either of Ashby putting him under pressure. And now Oxford have a bit of a chance here with McEachern. McEachern puts it out wide to the left. It's a low ball in. It comes off Hamish Douglas. It sits up in the box. Andy White's in there. McDonald's in there as well. And they've done really well. I think White made the telling contribution there for me because that ball could have gone anywhere from Oxford in the box. It just sat up. It looked like for a moment that it was just begging for someone to put it in the back of the net as Andrews works the right channel. Douglas shuts him down. He pulls it back to McEachern. 2 0. And they threatened just moments ago. And then the ball into the right channel. And McEachern's hit that really well despite the pressure of Harris. And it's Warrington Town nil, Oxford City 2. Ashby. He's going to curl it in. It's a good delivery, but Born Dixon wins the header. Only far as Coyle, who was almost anticipating that header. A low shot, good save by Dan Averton. Got down really well, and then it's blazed over the bar. Fleet it was, who just steered that. I don't know whether it was a shot from Coyle, but <coughs> it was steered goal, goalwards by Fleet, and Averton had to get down really well to make that save. White with a bit of an up and under. Woods will try and make something of it. Oh, lovely bit of skill from Connor Woods. Can he get away from Mesinoli? Mesinoli's done really well to get back at him there because Woods... Oh, but Woods has robbed it back off him. Low pack cross in towards Rodwell Grant, but Mackenzie Lyle gets down well. But Woods there with two lovely bits of play. First to poke the ball away from Coyle, and then when Mesinoli got back, Woods picked his pocket. That's a lovely bit of work from Rodwell Grant. A nice layoff for Barn Dixon and he finds Connor Woods who's got acres of space on the right hand side he enters the penalty area Connor Woods he shoots Woods oh what a block that is off the line I think it's Drew Woods beat the goalkeeper but somehow manages to get back and stops it dead on the goal line wins the ball back now here's Scott plays it down the right channel for Carbon Atherton's alert to it and will clear left foot who nearly didn't get hold of it and Now Andrews skips away from Gums. The ball's still there for Andrews. Yells can't get it away. McEachern's trying to find some space for a shot. Slides it out for Coyle. Blocked on the line by Douglas. But all that came from Averton's poor clearance. But the Yellows live to fight another day. And McDonald thought he was foul, but it sits up for McEachern. Oh, he's giving it away, though, to Jay Harris. He's not got much in front of him, Jay Harris. He... Runs forward himself. He beats two men. Slides the ball through to Connor Woods. Mackenzie Lyle's off his line. Good save from the goalkeeper. He was off his line really quick. Made himself, well, even bigger than he already is. Denied Woods. Now Harris's ball in towards Miles, who heads it goalwards. It's just over the bar. Now McDonald. Can the Yellows create a chance before half time? McDonald driving forward. He's got Woods on his outside. Coyle goes across to narrow the angle. Woods hits the ball well to Miles. Oh, he's headed it just wide. He did well, Miles, to get something on it. It looked quite awkward for him. Probably not the player you want in that situation, but he tried his best and headed just wide. White clips the ball forward. Amos will at least make Ezenolin make a decision. He plays it back to Mackenzie Lyle, who that's probably the best kick Mackenzie Lyle done all game. Oh, that was a high foot from McEachern. Referee says play on. And now Carbon streaming forward. He's backing Peter Clark into the box. Carbon sits Peter Clark down, pulls it back. Cleared away by Gums. Only as far as McEachern. Cleared off the line by Gums again. Hard to see from here what the Yellows could change. Clark clips the ball forward to Amos. Good run from Josh Amos. It sits up well for him. He hits it well. Good block by Ezinolim, who had no idea where it went. And Amos will let it go for a corner. But that was a good hit from Josh Amos, but Ezra Nolan with an excellent block. Now McDonald on the ball, slides into Rodwell Grant. Connor Woods is in the box, but he's the only one in there. Rodwell Grant's gone on the outside of Drew. He's been well held up, though. Now White with a good ball in. Not the best header by Ezra Nolan. Amos shoots, it's well blocked, and then it's poked behind by Jones. But 
for the first time. Yellow's just building a little bit of pressure here. Harris lumps it forward towards Amos. Good header by Capetwe. Falls from Matty McDonald. He nods it on for Woods. Woods hits it. Good save by Mackenzie Lyle at his near post. It was a nice height for the keeper, but he had to beat it wide. Nothing of substance on the volley. Woods plays it into Matty McDonald. Nice turn from McDonald. Clips up towards the back post for Clark. Oh, he's hit the bar. I think the keeper got a hand to it as well. And the yellow's huffing and puffing here at the end, but they just can't find a way past Mackenzie Lyle. 